This is a Skull Watcher Evil Star 9T. That's a beautiful refractor, one of the cheapest ones and one of the most efficient ones. And this is this one that probably you have seen it a lot of times coming and going. I have a lot of refractors. This refractor is one of the best ones. And I'm using a Father Morpheus six and a half and Hyperion twenty one and a Hyperion ten millimeter. I piss on this. What I recommend to use with it is one of those Teleview diagonals. This is a one and a half inch diagonal and use that one because that gives you the best optical path and it will not be a weak point in that case. Yep, this is the Teleview. Full metal and this is called Everbright Diagonal. Dielectric. Dielectric practically means the, uh, with electrical means the aluminium or silver is deposited on the surface of the glass, not on the back of it. Here it used to be. This is the one of the most affordable lunar and planetary telescopes. Look at the size of it. It's uh, apochromatic, but I didn't notice any chromatic aberration up to oh, using a six and a half millimeter like this. Um, as you can see I'll put it on a Skull Watcher a uh, Celestron XLT one two seven Schmidt Cassegrain telescope which uh, I've used the mount of it, an extension tube from the Skull Watcher and the XLT mount tripod. This is one of the best telescopes. As you can see inside the telescope is well baffled. You can see several baffling. And the baffles are the blade-like uh, rings inside the telescope which uh, stop the asteroid light going through so it stops the unwanted light it's like putting your hand in front of your eyes or above your eye just to create a little bit shadow when you're looking at the bright object so it just stops the, those kind of intrusions you can see this telescope is better than any other refractor that I have and I was looking at the moon and the details I could see was amazing.